After the clash between law enforcement and refugee and asylum seekers, the group have decided to come stay in Alberta Street, right opposite the central police station. The women and the children say they've got no place to wash, no place to cook, and they are literally living from hand to mouth. We are survivors. In South Africa, we survive, we don't live. So we know how to handle ourselves. As uh, most of us are, running, are coming from the war zones, running from the wars and this and that, we know how to handle ourselves. So the government don't care. I can say that they really don't care about women and children. Because if they did care, at least the least they was going to do was to support the women and children. So uh, they are there, as you see on the street, sitting there. No bathing, no washing, no eating. Each and everyone survives on his own way. So we can share the small bread that we have for everyone. A refugee who did not want to be seen on camera says there must be a reason the law enforcement officers pushed them into this area. Those who are acting according to the law, those are the same people who allow us to be in this place. It means they must defend themselves. They must explain why they have to drop us in this place. I remember when they pushed us to come in this place, we were in the park. Why they could not leave us in the park? Why they have to push us coming this side? Because they knew businesses were here. It means they have to explain to these businessmen and say that we are the one who brought them this side. Some workers and people walking past the District 6 Museum say they are not happy with the way the street looks. Monday we were, well I just came from work and then I just saw like the police standing all along the sides of the road and stuff and then I just saw all these people sitting here like getting the wheels. And it's like confusing and it's uncomfortable to walk past people that are just laying here with their clothes everywhere and stuff. It has a huge impact because obviously it's uncomfortable for people to walk past people just laying in the streets and stuff. And I mean, look how it looks. Who wants to go and have a coffee around the corner if you see, you know, stuff like this on the street? Many of the refugees currently living on the streets refuse to go back home because of violence in their communities. We don't have anywhere to go. And if they want to reintegrate us, I'm going to tell them again this. Go ask your people. Do they want us? That is simple. That's simple. It's not up to us. They did reintegrate us in 2008. After that, what happened? What was the solution? It's up to them, it's not up to us. A statement released on Thursday by mayoral committee member for safety and security, Alderman J.P. Smith, read that the city had considered approaching the High Court on urgent basis for further relief. In the meantime, the city says it will continue to do everything within its mandate to protect the interests of its residents and businesses by enforcing its bylaws. I'm Edna Kangolo for Our City News, District 6 Museum in Cape Town.